Ladies and gentlemen, I have just experienced my first Nintendo Direct. I mean, I don't really watch E3 or any other event. I mean, I just mostly read the news. Like, I go, all announcements! Like, I don't want to watch two hours, but I don't know. I was like, I'll try something different. I'm going to watch a Nintendo Direct for the first time in my life. So I didn't watch it when it was live. I watched the archive that was uploaded by GameSpot. And the reason for that is, is because where I live, uh, the uh, Direct was, uh, you know, it was very early in the morning. And once my fat ass gets into bed, it's not easy to get it out of bed. <laughs> so I, I, I couldn't. It was too late. I had work and, you know, blah, 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 blah. And uh, with that said, for those of you that are here for the news, well, this is everything that's been announced. I put it all over the, the screen for you. So, you know, in case you were wondering about something. And, uh, but the point of this video is not all the news, because, come on, you know, <laughs> I love games, but I haven't played all these series, so I obviously gonna have only an opinion on a few of them, not all of them, though that's kind of a little sad to me, because I would have liked to have an opinion on everything, because, yeah, life growing up, not enough time to play, can only play a few games, that sucks! And anyway, so, like I said, I'm gonna be talking about the games that mattered to moi, and uh, I'm gonna state my opinion on the games by which the order that they were announced in, and the first one was Mario Strikers. Now, I was surprised by that one, because, you know, I know Mario Tennis and stuff, and Mario Golf, I played all those, Mario Tennis was my favorite by far, unless we're not including Mario Party, because that's not a, not a sports game, that's a party game, but, uh, yeah, so, I've always been the kind of person that would rather play sports outside than play them in a video game. Which, th that sounds like bullshit, because I'm fat, but I'm honest. <laughs> I'll give it a hard try. I didn't say I was good at it, but I much prefer to be outside playing a sport instead of playing it on a video game. If I'm going to play a video game, I want to play Breath of the Wild. I want to play something crazy and fantasy-like. And but, but, back in the day, I did find a sports game that I really liked. FIFA Street. I played that game so much. I like sports games, but I like them more if they have a fantasy or a bullshit element to them. Uh, AKA FIFA Street, and now we have Mario Strikers. And I've been thinking about going back to those, you know, like playing them for sake of good old times. And uh, yeah, so I'm super hyped for Mario Strikers. Definitely a game I'm gonna, I'm gonna be picking up. And next up, we have Splatoon 3. So I've never played any of the Splatoon games, and I do want to play them now, because I'm trying to get into more multiplayer games. I've always been a single-player kind of person, but I want to play with my siblings and stuff, so I guess Splatoon is, is not a bad option for multiplayer, because my brother loves Nintendo, so... Yeah, I'm definitely going to be giving Splatoon a shot, finally. And, uh, and since it's a multiplayer game, uh, I usually prefer to start from the beginning of a series when playing, but... Again, because it's a multiplayer game, I feel like it's okay if I play Splatoon 3. I mean, I don't know if there's a story mode in Splatoon 1, but yeah, so I'm going to be jumping to that. And next up is Chrono Cross. So that was announced for the Nintendo Switch, and I have yet to beat Chrono Trigger. I'm playing through the game. I mean, I played it, one, I played, I played it once so far, for like an hour or something. But it's a game I definitely want to finish, and then I want to play Chrono Cross, because I'm, I'm so obsessed with it. I hear about those two games so often, and I'm obsessed with, uh, what do you call it, why people dislike Chrono Cross. Like, it's one of those games where, like, I'd imagine that there'd be, like, Chrono Trigger fans and Chrono Cross fans, but whenever, like, there's a discussion about these two games, people always, always loathe talking about Chrono Cross. And I don't think this game has any fans. I wonder why they announced it. <laughs> but that said, we're gonna be jumping into the last three on our list. And I'll leave the, uh, the well, I can't, uh, well, four, four, four. Kirby and the Forgotten Lands. I've always hated Kirby. And the uh, <laughs> reason is simple. I've never played a Kirby game, but I, I spent half my life playing Super Smash. And uh, the AI, whenever they'd play with Kirby, they would be so strong and they annoyed the shit out of me. I've always had a like animosity towards Kirby just for that fact. I never liked the balloon pink ball. But he's been growing on me and uh, I'm like, come on, he's so cute. You know, like, come on. How could anybody hate him? Like, I don't know. I guess it's because I was a kid and he used to kick my ass and stuff. So I'm willing to give the Kirby series a shot. I'm going to be starting with the first NES game. And uh, whatever Kirby games I finish before this game comes out, uh, I finish and then when this game comes out I'm gonna just gonna skip through everything and just pick this game up and next up This was the announcement that blew my mind the most this one like I literally I was like just watching the direct Wow, mm, mm, mm. and then this came on screen and I was like What what and it's Klonoa so 
I played Klonoa growing up. It's I love this series so much. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites because it has some issues and stuff. But I'm very fond of Klonoa, and I love this series so much. And I actually own the first game, uh, the physical copy on the PlayStation 1. And I played the second game as well. So this just blew my mind that somebody knows that this game exists and is going to give it a spot in the sunlight. So I'm super hyped to pick this up when it drops, but I don't know yet because I think it's going to come on the uh, come out on the PlayStation 4 and 5. And as usual, I prefer to play the best version of the game. So if the PlayStation 5 version is at a higher resolution or better frame rate or I don't know, stuff like that, I'll probably pick it up on the PlayStation. But as of but as of now, it's Switch. And uh, next up we have two, Metroid. So Samus is one of my favorite characters of all time, even though I've never played a Metroid game. <laughs> Again, Super Smash. You guys have no idea how much I played Smash growing up. It's like my life is divided into like two parts. It's like the childhood, school, college, high school and everything and Super Smash, okay? Like Super Smash is like 40% of my life and uh, 20% of that was uh, Super Smash Melee on the GameCube. I, my God. So, uh, but I know a lot about Metroid, as you would, you know, you know, playing Nintendo games and stuff. And I did try to play the first Metroid. I, I played it for like two, three minutes. I mean, I didn't even, I, I just know the thing where you have to go left or right. One of them. It's like, oh, right. Left, left, left. Yeah, yeah, because everybody, and people don't shut up about the fact that it's like, in games, usually, you go right. But with Metroid, you had to go left. And uh, I did that. So I basically have like two, three minutes into the game. The only reason I stopped playing it was because I was like, oh, I want to stream this. I want to like, uh, maybe I'll save it when I review the game. That's when I'm going to play it for the first time, actually play it. And I never came back to it. And that sucks because Metroid is getting so much love. And I love Metroidvania. Castlevania Symphony of the Night is one of my favorite games. And I should really be supporting Metroid because it's a... Castlevania game and like I that's my like one of my favorite genres and I can't let it die So I don't know what I'm doing not playing Metroid games and I'm gonna fix that and that said We're gonna be jumping into the last bit of freaking news and that's Earthbound now Earthbound oh my I have a sordid history with Earthbound never played the game But I did want to buy it so right around college uh I started video game collecting, and I have a, I wouldn't say decent, I have an okay collection. Uh, but like most people, I started buying uh, everything I played growing up. Like, I prioritized those games. Like, I wasn't buying what was expensive, what was cheap, what was gonna be expensive. Like, I wasn't investing in retro, ga uh, retro games. I was just buying the games I grew up with. I never grew up with Earthbound, but I knew people loved it, and it was a collector's piece, even back five, six years ago. And, um... Uh, but I was like, no, that's not that's not who I am. I'm not like I'm not doing this for the money or like I'm just buying the uh, the games that I grew up with. And I was like, there's plenty more games I grew up with that I still need to buy. And back then, Earthbound was a hundred and fifty dollars. Like it was between a hundred fifty, a hundred sixty dollars. Yeah, yeah. I saw it. I saw it at $150. And I was like, it's too much. Money. Well, I was in college, so $150. That was that was a lot of money. But like, I still, I remember buying, a, a, like, a, what do you call it? I bought Klonoa. I bought Klonoa for like $120 or something. And uh, I don't know. I don't think, I think I got Klonoa for $60. But anyways, I remember buying a couple of games that were like pretty expensive back then. Like at $150, $180. And that was like, I, I mean, it's like, well, like I wanted it. It's part of my childhood. I got it. And I was like, I'll leave Earthbound for later. I'm sure I'm going to jump into the series because it's a classic. And hey, how much more expensive can it get? Two, three hundred dollars? I'm going to have a job by then. The game is like a thousand bucks now. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm never going to be, be able to play the game like in, uh, like uh, through a legitimate, uh, what do you call it, a path. Like a... Like, like, like I have now. And uh, I have nothing against emulators. I love emulators. In fact, I barely uh, turn on my retro collection anymore. They're just on for display. I always, I always, almost always just go for the emulator because it's just more convenient and the games look better on the emulator. Because again, I just bought these to have them like, because you know, my childhood. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, Earthbound. And uh, but you know, having this announcement come up, finally decided I'm going to be playing Earthbound the first time and uh that's the, yeah so it's one two three four five six one two three four five six seven seven 
those are the seven major announcements at Nintendo's Direct uh, that, you know, that, that resonated with me. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much for the video. So uh, I wonder where you guys were into uh, with the direct, like, because I, I saw people on Twitter, people were going bananas for everything, and I'm I'm so jealous of people who like just loved every game that was announced because they got to play the you know the 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 past games, and these are like sequels they've been waiting for and stuff. Anyway, so yeah, that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Wherever you may be in this world, take care, have a good night, and I'll see you guys next time with whatever trash I make. <laughs>